My name's Amanda Branston. Welcome to Mandy's Makes. Today we're going to look at a resist and this is a resist using gesso and just a quick word about gesso. Gesso is an acrylic paint so you need to make sure you've got a bowl of soapy water ready by your side to drop in your dirty stencil. So I'm going to use a piece of watercolour card and I'm just going to scoop out just a tiny little bit of gesso and put it on my mat. You don't need a lot. Say anything you use gesso with like this, put it straight in the water. So mask straight over the top and I'm going to use a blender with a sponge applicator for this. I just find it easier to control. A sponge will work just as well. And then I'm going to make sure I've pushed this through the stencil onto the card. That should do it. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's fine. So now we need to make this dry. Gesso is made from acrylic paint. So once it's dry, it becomes permanent. So onto this, we can spray our acrylic burnt umber, just a little. Make sure you give your mist spray a good shake. Make sure that you've got all that mica mixed in. I'm going to use the size three mop brush just to help me distribute these beautiful inks across the card. Whilst your paper's wet, you need to blot off and clean where your acrylic gesso is. Again, these sprays are acrylic based, so once they dry, they become permanent. So you need to do this fairly quickly and dry. So we're going to carry on working with the resist using truffle. Elements is a water-based ink, so we should be able to wash this off quite easily. I am going to use a damp cloth and just a squirt of plain water. I don't want too much water on my cloth, don't want it too wet. And then we can go in and clean the gesso. Fabulous. I really like that effect. I am going to give it a bit more brown up in this top corner. So I'm going to use Autumn Fall and I'm going to stamp her Inverse Fine Nocturne. I'm going to use the Sycamore using Acorn. Finishing touches, I'm going to use a white gel pen. I'm not going to touch her beautiful features, just give it a bit of a glow on the outside. But I will bring it down her neck and onto her legs. She's got some fabulous boots on, so I just want to make sure that they're spotted. Marvellous. And the sycamores. Just to add the highlight. light. 
wonderful right i'm going to finish her off by using some glamour flakes i'm going to add these using the quickie glue pen so little detail on her wings and then we can use a couple of the shapes through the stencil to add some more shine just a couple here and there now we need to dry that off so i'm going to use glamour gilding flakes i love these i love the colors in it and they're perfect for this combination i'm going to sprinkle that on all over get the majority back in the tub and there you have it that extra little bit of glamour i hope you enjoyed that thank you for joining me i look forward to seeing you next time goodbye